My name is Edward Sanchen Oberholzer. I'm the resident priest here at the Joseph Priestley Zen community in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. We're an affiliate of Empty Moon Zen. Early in the morning this past January, before the sun would rise over the surrounding mountains at Green Gulch Farm, we would celebrate with the morning service. One of the chants that was used is the hymn to the perfection of wisdom, Prajna Paramita, the mother of all Buddhas. It doesn't appear in the Soto school scriptures for daily services and practice. And I haven't been able to find it in the Boundless Way liturgy book, yet there it was, poking at my godlessness, singing the praise of a Mahayana goddess, the goddess of wisdom. It goes, hymn to the perfection of wisdom, homage to the perfection of wisdom, the lovely, the holy, the perfection of wisdom gives light. Unstained, the entire world cannot stain her. She is a source of light, and from everyone in the triple world, she removes darkness. Most excellent are her works. She brings light so that all fear and distress may be forsaken. It disperses the gloom and darkness of delusion. She herself is an organ of vision. She has a clear knowledge of the own being of all dharmas, for she does not stray away from it. The perfection of wisdom of the Buddhas sets in motion the wheel of dharma. Much as I can't warm to the idea of a god, now, wisdom, there, there's a god or a goddess I can get behind. Not far removed from god as nature, nature as god, a goddess who opens your eyes. Would that she'd been around when Wotan plucked out his right eye to give to the king of the trolls in exchange for the secret of saving the gods from chaos, only to be told that the secret was keep both eyes open. Neither Prajna Paramita nor Avalokiteshvara would have been so cruel. Avalokiteshvara began the Heart Sutra deep in the practice of Prajnaparamita, and from that practice, from that refuge, deep in the arms of the mother of all Buddhas, she, he, points the way for all bodhisattvas, for you, for me, for all of us on the path, for all of us to take refuge in that heart of great perfect wisdom, we have, in the brief recitation of the Heart Sutra, made our way through the practices and deep insights of those monks and nuns, indeed, of the historical Buddha himself, that characterize the Theravadan way. These insights, the five skandhas, dependent origination, the four noble truths among them, are not to be set aside, but to be acknowledged for what they are, for what everything is, empty, without self-existence, locked in a vast web of interdependence. And, as Shariputra is told, this gives us everything. There truly is nothing to attain, and nothing standing in the way, no cause for anxiety, no cause for fear, Dogen advises us that just the practice of Zazen is nirvana, that in settling down on the cushion in the embrace of Brajna Paramita, you are Buddha. Take the light that she brings and with Dogen, turn it around to look within. Hakuin sings to us that from Zazen, this earth where we stand is the pure lotus land, and this very body, the body of Buddha. This is the gift that Avalokiteshvara brings. Earlier, we saw that the Heart Sutra was originally seen as a talisman, a dharani. Chant it, and you would ward off demons. So it was used by Xuanzang in his famous Journey to the West though admittedly with mixed results. 
But even in the brevity of the Heart Sutra, there is room for more concision. And so we end with that great miraculous mantra, the great bright mantra, the supreme mantra, the incomparable mantra which removes all suffering and is true, not false. Gate, gate, paragate, parasangate, bodhisvaha. Xuanzang believed that mantras should not be translated, but this one is straightforward enough. And just as Mu loses nothing of its power when presented as no, so this loses nothing when we know it as gone, gone, gone beyond, gone completely beyond, wisdom, all hail. Take this. Hold it. I make no promises about demons or the forces of chaos. Do keep both eyes open. But know that Avalokiteshvara has issued the invitation. Accept it and step over to the other shore. Thank you.